The most expensive cruise ship in the world is $1,350,000,000, and for that kind of money, you won't believe what kind of adventures you can get up to. Some rooms in a cruise ship can cost up to $50,000 per night, so in today's episode of Top 5 Central, we're going to be looking at some of the most insane cruise ships in the world. The Harmony of the Seas sets sail all throughout the year, visiting the Bahamas, the Caribbean, and areas along the North American coastline. You could find yourself walking along a beautiful golden beach in St. Thomas one day before wandering the streets of San Juan or snorkeling in Mexico the next. It's a colossal ship stretching out over 362 meters and capable of fitting 6,780 passengers on board at maximum occupancy with a further 2,300 crew members. Its maiden voyage was in 2016, but in the three short years since the Oasis class ship set sail, it has become a highly desirable cruiser. The ship is divided into a total of seven neighborhoods. There's the Royal Promenade, which is a two-deck high mall that is home to bars, restaurants, and shops. There's Central Park, which is a unique green area surrounded by 12,000 trees and plants. The Boardwalk is one of the more fun areas of the ship, home to a handcrafted carousel, the Aqua Theater, Starbucks, and many more attractions. The Pool and Sports Zone is the fourth neighborhood, including a beach pool, flow rider, and the tallest waterside on a cruise ship, the Ultimate Abyss, which features a 10-story drop. If you need to recharge from all of that, you can head to the fifth neighborhood, which is the Vitality of the Sea. This area is all about unwinding and revitalizing the body, mind, and spirit, featuring a spa, fitness center, and cafe. The sixth is the Entertainment Place, which features not just a theater, but also a casino and a comedy club. And of course, the final neighborhood is the Youth Zone, which is an area custom made for kids from babies to teens. There's a baby daycare, an expansive arcade, a teen disco, and places for kids just to be kids. The website for MSC Cruises claims that the MSC Seaside rewrites the rulebook of cruise ship design. The 323 meter long vessel has a maximum capacity of 5,331 passengers and 1,400 crew members. The waterfront boardwalk is a long area of decking complete with restaurants, bars, and places to relax and walk while offering you an unparalleled view of the ocean. There are two beach pools. Miami Beach Pool is on deck 16 and features an innovative sun lounger design that allows you to go straight from sunbathing to swimming, while the South Beach Pool at the aft of the ship on deck 7 is basically as close as the ocean as you can get without going overboard. There's a state-of-the-art gym and spa, as well as a four-deck tall atrium where guests can enjoy live entertainment. If you have the funds, you can become a part of the MSC Yacht Club, which is an exclusive group of heightened luxury in a private area of the ship. You get the luxury of a much bigger suite, an exclusive 24-hour butler service, and much more. The highlight of sailing on the MSC Seaside is its ultimate destination, the MSC Marine Reserve Ocean K. From water activities to restaurant, the Marine Reserve has it all. The Norwegian Encore is the newest ship in the Norwegian Cruise Line Company's fleet. This ship is so state-of-the-art that it isn't even sailing it. It's at its final construction at Mayer Werft in Germany. When completed, the ship will be able to contain 3,988 passengers with a further 2,100 crew members. Originally, the ship was designed to sail out of China, much like her sister ship, the Norwegian Joy, but instead, it'll be sailing out of Miami starting later this year. The main slide of the aquapark is suspended 159 feet above the ocean and stretches 11 feet off the side of the ship. There's the Galaxy Pavilion, which is a 10,000 square foot augmented reality complex with cutting edge technology designed for incredible interactive gaming. There's even a laser tag area based on the lost city of Atlantis, which also uses that exact augmented reality technology to bring the world of ruins and giant sea monsters to life. But perhaps the coolest out of all the entertainment features is the Speedway. The Norwegian Encore Speedway is an 1100 foot long go-kart racetrack, which is suspended 13 feet off the side of the ship. The Spectrum of the Seas belongs to an absolutely insane sounding class of Royal Caribbean Cruises. It's a Quantum Ultra class ship. The Quantum Ultra class is the third largest class of cruise ship in the world, and the Spectrum is able to hold 4,905 passengers at maximum occupancy. So what does a Quantum Ultra ship have to offer? You've got the standard things like a casino, some theaters, and a video arcade, and then you've got activities that are so much crazier. Activities like the Skypad, which is a bungee trampoline experience that includes virtual reality that sends you traveling light years into the future or to worlds made out of candy, there's also a rock climbing wall, an air tunnel that lets you soar through the air like you're in zero gravity, and a glass capsule machine called the North Star, which sends you 300 feet above the ocean for impossible to match views of the ocean. 
Disney is the largest entertainment company on the planet, so it would make sense that they would also have a fleet of cruise ships as well. The most impressive is the Disney Dream, which entered service in 2011. At maximum occupancy, it could take on 4,000 passengers with a further 1,458 crew members. As a Disney cruiser, you can expect to see a whole bunch of Disney-themed attractions on the ship. For kids, there's the Disney Oceaneer Club, focused on children between 3 and 12 years old. There's Andy's Room, where kids can hang with the Toy Story Gang, the Pixie Hollow, which is themed around the world of Tinkerbell, and finally, the Millennium Falcon, where kids can enjoy the Rebel Alliance and design a starship. The highlight of the Disney Dream is probably all of its pools and water features, the best of which is the Aqueduct. This water coaster is said to be the first of its kind at sea and takes you around the entire ship. The 765 feet of tubes gives you breathtaking views of the ocean and the ship below, including a trip off the side of the ship and a four deck drop. The Queen Mary 2 is a unique ship. It's said to be the only passenger ship as of this year to be an ocean liner. This means it travels the long distance across entire oceans instead of just traveling along the coastline of a country. After a refit in 2016, the Queen Mary 2 was upgraded to be capable of carrying 2,695 passengers as well as 1,253 officers and crew on its journey. As a flagship ocean liner, the ship is more focused on being sturdy and well-built than flashy, so it can survive long ocean voyages. But that doesn't mean that there's no surprises on the ship. The Queen Mary 2 features the world's only planetarium at sea, Illuminations. Keeping with the educational theme, there's even expansive onboard library filled with thousands of books. Now the Queen Mary 2 is obviously a much more refined ship than some of the ships we've had on this list. Instead of relying on flashy tricks, it strips back to the basics, aiming itself at the older demographic. The walls are lined with over 5,000 commissioned pieces of art and their performances of Shakespeare on the main stage. The Oasis of the Seas, another Oasis-class cruise ship, set a brand new capacity record when it was constructed, capable of holding over 6,000 passengers at full capacity, with a further 2,394 people acting as staff. Have you ever wanted to fly on a zipline while sailing the high seas? That's possible on the Oasis of the Seas, with a zipline that allows you to rush nine decks above the boardwalk. The boardwalk is pretty cool itself. It's a retro-themed promenade featuring a beautiful hand-painted carousel. If a zipline isn't your thing, but you still want to experience some of the thrills of extreme sports, you could explore the rock wall, which stretches 200 feet above sea level. Much like the other Oasis class on this list, the Oasis of the Seas has a central park filled with greenery, just in case you're looking for a more relaxed adventure. If you don't want to relax, but you also don't want to head high up above the decks, you can enjoy the H2O Zone, which is a fully fledged aqua park, complete with water cannons, fountains, sculptures, and more for kids to have fun with. The Celebrity Edge is said to change everything, from the way you experience the world to the way you connect with the ocean. This is the first Edge-class cruise ship in operation, constructed for around a billion dollars. From walks along the three floors in the morning, to cooking classes in the afternoon, and full-on food-based performance in the evening, the Grand Plaza is a luxurious area inspired by Italy, designed to show its guests a taste of the good life. At its center is a large chandelier light show. The pinnacle of the ship is the resort deck. This is where you'll find the main pool deck, which also features oversized art installations, including unique treetop sculptures, two two-story martini glass hot tubs, a 23-meter lap pool, and a pool bar. There's also the rooftop garden, which is described as a living urban playscape inspired by childhood playgrounds, a jogging track, and adults-only solarium, which is basically a greenhouse for sunbathing. The MSC Grandiosa is one of the few ships on this list that is still yet to officially set sail with members of the public on board. As you would expect from a ship that is yet to make its first voyage, it's filled with top-of-the-range cutting entertainment facilities. The first thing that we have to mention is that this cruise ship will actually be showing two new exclusive shows from the world-famous Cirque du Soleil, which will be at sea for the first time. But that's just where the fun begins. This ship features a full-size bowling alley, the first of its kind at sea. Then there's the Polar Aqua Park, which is said to be one of the most intricate and exciting water parks at sea, with three twisting slides, a range of pools, and a Himalayan bridge. The Sky Princess is the newest addition to the Princess fleet of ships, and is said to elevate the distinct design and luxurious attractions of their royal class of ships to even loftier heights, featuring their most exciting entertainment venues yet. While some of the ships on this list have focused on high-octane water parks and go-kart tracks to keep people entertained, the Sky Princess seems to be a ship more focused with relaxation and unwinding. Instead of water parks, there are a series of low-key pools, spa tubs, and hot tubs. 
Another highlight of the Sky Princess is its award-winning best onboard shopping. Alongside the shops, there's a Vegas-style casino, an expansive piazza, and more than one area for live shows. But hey, if you like water slides, make sure to check out this video showing you guys the 10 water slide world records you won't believe exist. I'll see you guys there.